Hello, Dick here. Bonnie here. Parent of Richard Wiley Hain, the third, born a month early. Arrived, supposed to be here at Christmas, and it came for Thanksgiving. And he came feet first. And he had a pretty little head, unlike his older brother. Not misshapen. Where was he born? He was born in uh, St. Michael's Hospital okay. in Milwaukee. <clears throat> Were there then, difficulties with him a month early? Well, it was probably because I was on speed. But I'm wondering, like, they didn't have to put him in an incubator <clears throat> or anything no, like uh -uh. that. He's still Here comes Chris to see the, the new baby. To see the Christmas present. And to see Christmas present. No. <clears throat> I thought that dog was so special, but by the time I could get rid of it, I was so glad to have it out of the way. When it had outlived its welcome. <clears throat> Chris, understand he had a new baby brother? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. But that doesn't seem to be where it moved. There we go. There's the baby brother. That was one of the first propped up seats for babies. Oh, now we're at Christmas already. My dad. Back in mirrors. That's that cutting board again. And there's, what are those, knives? The pictures. Pictures, I guess. There's Terry, my brother, my little brother, nine years younger than I am. Uncle Terry. And Chris. <clears throat> with his saddle shoes and his matching outfit. And my mother looking pretty. Grandma Corliss. And there I am with my blue knit dress and my silver and gold necklace. I lost one of those earrings <clears throat> at Capitol Court and never could find it. Oh, and that the sweater Dick got me for Christmas, a ski sweater. And it was such a pretty, expensive, nice ski sweater to go skiing in. And there's my little sister. And she's got pretty things. How old would she be there? That's what I was trying to think. 13 or something. Well, if Ricky is 59 and she was born in 40, uh, 45, 46? So 14 or so. Now we're at Duck Lake. <clears throat> There's Pa Hain. I, I think I'm, yeah, I made those matching uh, Pajamas? flannel night shirts. I wore those forever, I think. I made them for both <clears throat> of the folks. There's Chris had his cowboy Chris shirt. Chris ripping a little bit of paper away. <laughs> And Marilyn's fancy. Marilyn got him that she wanted to know what she should get him, and I said, I like those Tonka trucks. Still I, sitting in the basement. Yep, we got him. And there's Chris. I finally got him size 5 undershirt because he was growing so fast I couldn't keep up with him. And the minute I washed him, they shrunk and he didn't fit anymore. What's that blue-faced pillow in the background? My mother made a whole set of those pillows. Animals and a boy and a girl, I think. Made them for the kids for Christmas. My kids. Chris they and must be at uh, I think they're in the Milwaukee. crawl space. I think they're in the crawl space, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's baby Ricky. Yeah, he had such a pretty little head. Oh, there's the rocking chair that I had for night when I was five. And there's that basket with a ruffle of bassinets that my mother made the liner for, bought me the basket. There's the big brother. See, that should have come before Christmas, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then he got really big eyes. He, his eyes got so big. and his, he, Suddenly he was gaining all his weight. He was eating all day long. He was always hungry. Maybe because I was on speed before I was pregnant. Chris just loved books and graham crackers. And there's that little corduroy suit. So that's our couch, right? Yeah, that's a sleeper couch with made into twin beds. Uh huh. And there's little Ricky. He's getting bigger every day. I think he's getting on to be three months there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, fatty. Oh, he got so fat so fast. 
he was a normal sized baby. I think he was six eleven or something like that. See how fat he is? Early meter. Yeah, if my others were eight ten and they went full full term. But look how heavy he is. My first one and last one weighed eight ten and he came a month early and weighed six something. And they all weighed five pounds when they were twenty months twenty pounds when they were five months old. There he's having a bath. Yeah. Somebody said it's not good to get their ears in water and I always wondered if I was doing them damage. I think somebody said that when they saw this picture. Yeah. <laughs> Your mom maybe. I don't know when they go swimming they get water in their ears. Yeah, it's probably not that dangerous. We had that towel that had a little hood on it that made it a little easier to wrap him up. Boy, he was getting heavy fast. Waking me up every night to eat. I got so tired of getting up in the night, I'd, I'd prop his bottle and go back to bed. And you're never supposed to prop a baby's bottle. Soaping himself. Soap Ooh, you get soap in his eyes. Ooh. Be careful. I had my hands full, I'll tell you what. I was 26 years old and I had bitten off almost more than I could chew. That hat came from Therese Hart and it came from, I think it came from the Dutch East Indies. It was from, oh. she, you know, that's where Bob Hart was from and I lost the hat. Chris never learned how to pedal. He just wouldn't pedal. He, there's Susie and Scott and me and Chris uh, in the merry-go-round over at Capitol Court. Capital card in Milwaukee. Yeah, there's the kid with the pedal pop. He's always checking his environment to be sure it's got control. There's Scotty. Scotty Swan and Pete Swan. In that movie yesterday when we thought it was Pete Swan, that was his dad in that movie. Oh, okay. I was watching it <clears throat> on YouTube. I used to love to ride on ponies. There's Pete Swan with Scotty and Dick and Chris. How close were they to the, being the same age? No, about nine months apart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was such a nice playground over there at Capitol Court. There's Chris, fearless Chris, on the caterpillar, in control, there's Connie, and Terry. And Ricky, right? Was that Ricky? Not sure. Yeah, I think this so. is the playground outside of, by the school fearless. at Mother's house. They're going for a ride on the... Lawnmower. Right, lawnmower right? right. That's Dick though with, with Chris. And that's out at the mirror's yard. Yeah, in okay. front of in front of the house. <clears throat> that looks like you, Bobby. <laughs> uh -huh. Yep, that's Chris. Chris and his dad on the lawnmower. In the spring. That'd have been a spring trip over there. And there's Mother I, holding I, little Ricky. I made the sunsuits for him matching. I suppose sunsuits. we took the boat over. Or, or maybe that's the sunsuit that I made to match your shirt. Mm -hmm. Here's Connie, the great aunt, the real aunt, good aunt, I should say. Connie always says that my kids cut their teeth at her house. You had to listen to them cry. <laughs> Look how young mother is. Mm -hmm. She was, so he was 50, this probably was 60 here, and mother was born in 13. So she'd have been 53. That old wagon, Rusty. And there's Ruth, Ruth pregnant, and pregnant for Scott. And there's my Gun-loving brother. Remember the name of that dog by chance? 
No, I don't Dick, know. That was Dick's dog? I don't know. I think it must yeah, have been. Yeah, it would have been. And there he is in his Swiss little <clears throat> hat from Dutch East Indies. Ricky. Oh, help and wash the dough car. He called that the dough car because he called you dough. He called it, he said, and, and so that was the dough car. Oh, he's so businesslike. There's my fat baby boy, and he'll fall flat on his face more than once out of that Before jumper. Before that was designed properly? <laughs> yeah, it was poorly designed. <clears throat> there, he's looking pretty good now. He looks happy and healthy. I used to put, <laughs> yeah, I used to put his baby cereal and, and milk together in a bottle just enough so it would go through a slit in the nipple and I just leave him with it in his crib and go back to the bed. cereal could pass through the nipple? Yeah, it was a little slit I put in the, I so see. when he sucked on okay. it, it came That's through so I didn't have to stay up all night. It wasn't cereal like cornflakes. Baby food. It was like baby food. There we go. That's funny. There is after I had my veins stripped. I had varicose veins after I had Ricky. So I'm wearing elastic stockings and I'm showing that I can still do all the things I used to do. This That's is Hampton Avenue. Out in front of our brand new apartment on Hampton Avenue. There's the alley yard there. Yeah, we were the first ones to live in that place. <laughs> yeah, my gymnastics, talents, skills, whatever. <laughs> and there's the swing. That Up on the porch. Dick built that swing for the kids. <clears throat> Up on the second story porch. Were dad's swings built better than the store-bought swings? We didn't even consider a store-bought <laughs> swing. Or what are those other like, store-bought chairs they sat in? Those store-bought chairs were from Connie. Oh, okay, okay. I recovered one, her, her old one. I put a new canvas cover or cloth cover on it. There's his bottle. Probably had baby cereal in it, it looks like. So I didn't yeah, that's to, Rick. So I didn't have to spoon feed him. And cloth diapers. I spent my life changing diapers. Putting it in one end and cleaning up the other end. I was so tired. Every night, all night, every couple of hours, that kid wanted to be fed. This was from Germany, this little toy dog. Really clever dog. Clever little toy. It might still be in the crawl space. It was a gift. Clever why? Well, it wiggles all over. It's got oh, springs see, yeah, and, and wheels. And yeah. spin around it's a Dachshund, yeah. That's that lap back leg go up. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a beautiful baby, and he was so overwhelming for me. I noticed that they each have their way of crawling, <laughs> and this is Rick's, where uh, Chris pulled himself with his forearm, his uh, his left fore or his right forearm, he pulled himself He over scooched. Him. Yeah, he's going to wind up with his leg there. He's going to use it to wind him up. Oh, there he goes. I can almost kind of see Rick's face today in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, and he's got tubers. <clears throat> he's got teeth. There's Connie. Skinny little legs. With Connie over in Milwaukee. She was such a good aunt. Oh, that kid looks so familiar. He just disappeared from my life. This was mother's. Oh no, that's. This is at mother's house. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, Connie's old stroller and my brother's old car. And there I am. I made that dress. I just love that sundress. It had a contrasting waistband. And this was a really good way to handle the, being having him outside in the. In Duck Lake, we put him in a stroller and or in his. Playpen. You put the playpen on the rowboat. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was an ideal way to have them out there. I always loved that playpen. It's eaten. And there's Julie. Julie has arrived. So she must have been pregnant for Julie in that picture, and not Ju Scott. Yeah, Julie Carlos. June 9th. June 9th, she was born. Probably in 60 then. Chris was born in. 58 and Rick in 59 and she in 60. 
That's what it is, I'll bet you. And Scott quite a bit later. Not a whole lot later. And then Greg was six months, nine months before you. <clears throat> and that's my old high chair, and I had made curtains to match the cushions I covered for it. Ricky's in the high chair. I wonder if Chris is out of it now. There look at that goofy look on his He's a pretty smart kid. Look at that. Yeah, look at that coordination. Yay, Yay get it in the hole. Made that. Woo! Well done. Wow, that's exciting. Let's do it again. Let's do it with this one. Woo -hoo -hoo, find that damn hole. Oh, where's the hole? There it is. Woo -hoo, now, is that a store bought toy? Or? Yeah. Okay. So if yeah. Dad could make that, I could do oh, I went to the. I, I could. It just. Was kill under me that I couldn't buy every little toy I wanted for him. I bought most of them, but I had to regulate my my lust. Here we go. He's one this year is, old. This is he's one year old, and he burns himself, and he gets hit in the eye with a hammer that he's on his xylophone, and will that probably be in this video? I think yeah, so. <laughs> party with his friends there. I don't see any friends. They all ended up crying. See his little curl on top of his head. And those are the overalls with a little animal front, a bib front. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? He's gonna... Yeah, see, there's that xylophone, and he bangs himself with that. There's see, the, the bump, bump on his head? <laughs> Kids are musicians, see? You hit the xylophone, not your head. That's the first first step to being part of the ozone, right? Ah, uh, yes, the ones. Oh, those are his little corduroy. Those were really expensive. That was a Clark, I think, that outfit he's got on from by Clark. Here we come with a Christmas tree. Down our alley on Hampton Avenue. This first Christmas, probably. Well, that'd be his second because he was second born year. right before Christmas. Got it. Oh, okay. So he's about a year, a year over a year. He's a year old now. Got it. And Chris would be two and a half then. Born in June. All those clothes that Chris is wearing, Rick would eventually wear. I bought this is twin job uh, pants with little that outfit had that shirt with it, and they, I bought each a shirt and the corduroy job purse with a little puppy size. They look so cute in those. That was what I liked about kids, is dressing <clears throat> them up like little dolls. There's our Christmas tree. He was a pretty cheerful kid. Very sociable. <laughs> Happy go lucky. Near the end here, I see about thirty seconds. Oh, left. that was the cake I made. I decorated it oh, myself. Oh, Rudolph cake for Christmas? Well, this was or for his birthday. I don't know. Huh. Maybe at Chris. I want one of those. It looks good. It's a uh, licorice. Roger, it's somebody's it's a, birthday party. Those probably. are licorice sticks. Maybe it's it's a. Uh, it would be close. No, oh, it's there's winter a skier. Yet, so it might there's, here we it's go. A Christmas party. Four seconds, I think. I was so proud of that that little leather-like jacket that I got.